Hello again. Uh, today is just going to be a short video on making some beeswax air fresheners. Um, just something to add a little scent to whatever room you decide to keep them in. Um, and of course we're going to be using uh, ingredients without all of the hormone disrupting uh, scents that you can buy from the store. So I will apologize in advance. Camera angle is going to be a little bit weird after this intro. Uh, my head will be cut off, but I really wanted to make sure that you had a good view of, you know, um, the counter and how things were going in. Not so important that you see my face. All right. So um, main ingredient, as we said, beeswax, right? So it comes in lots of different ways. You can buy it in big blocks. Um, as you see this one here, I've been chopping up a bit. So the beeswax is pretty hard. It's one of the harder fats that I work with. And so I do just want to say straight off the bat that beeswax has um, approximately a 150 degree melting point. So while this might be a fun craft in some ways um, for kids to participate in, know that you're going to have to melt your beeswax to 150 degrees. So obviously that portion of the um, craft needs to not be done by a child. So I just want to make sure I say that uh, ahead of time. Um, and obviously any kind of wax, any kind of fat, it gets onto your skin. And it's not just going to come off entirely. It's going to coat. And if they run water on it, the fat's still going to stick to their skin. So I just really wanted to do a little safety announcement straight in front. Okay. So back to the beeswax. It is, like I said, one of the harder things that we work with. So chopping it can be quite a chore. Um, you can also get beeswax, you can order it in pellets, which makes it a whole lot easier, eliminates the whole chopping step, just a, just a little heads up. Um, so for this, um, you can use any shape that you like. This might be fun if you were doing something um, Christmas themed or fall themed. Maybe you have a leaf cookie cutter. Um, or I don't know, a Christmas tree shaped cookie cutter. Obviously, whatever you want. At the end of the day, uh, the idea here is to have, so this is just a, a round um, ring, ring mold that I have, just to have a mold that you can set on top of a flat surface and the wax isn't gonna just leak out the bottom. I just have a piece of deli paper that I'm using as my bottom. Um, as long as it's wax um, and food grade, the beeswax shouldn't stick to it. Parchment paper would also work great for this. Parchment paper is heat resistant and works great in all those sorts of situations. The other mold that I'm using is a silicone mold. So you guys probably know these. They're great for baking, you know, freezing. They hold up to lots of things. So this is great because I'm just going to be able to pop them out. And um, also silicone has the great uh, added benefit of leaving a shiny surface and things. So that's always a little bit nice. So I have a little bit of the beeswax here pre-chopped, but I went ahead and melted some since it does take a little while to melt so that you guys wouldn't have to wait for that. So I've done it over a double boiler as usual. I decided to do some air fresheners for the bedroom. So mine are lavender and nioli scented. And I apologize if I'm pronouncing nioli wrong. I'm a little self-conscious about that. Um, for approximately 10 to 12 ounces of beeswax, I did between 20 and 40 drops of lavender essential oil. There's a little oil on the label there, I apologize. Um, I have Mountain Rose brand essential oils. They're great quality, but obviously whatever kind you like. And then I did between 10 and 20 drops of the Niobe for this same formula. So I went ahead and added those right to my melted beeswax. And then what I also did is add some lavender buds. Okay, just so happened to have those on hand. So those will show in the finished air freshener. So you can see not only does it smell like lavender, but you can actually see the lavender buds, which will be nice. And then the other thing that I want to do this time around <clears throat> is I'm just going to add some hibiscus flowers. You can't tell too much through this camera, but they have just a little bit of a red tinge. So I just wanted to do something to add a little bit of color 
uh, the beeswax is, you know, an off-brown color. Um, the lavender is a slightly purple color, but everything's going to be a little bit drab. So I'm just going to add a little bit of hibiscus. I'll actually just pop that in right now since my beeswax has already melted. And so obviously you can add whatever you want for color, um, scent-wise. Um, I'm also going to plan to do some of these with cinnamon and clove, which will be lovely. So then, now that my beeswax is all melted with the lavender mixed in, the hibiscus mixed in, and then the scent of my choice already mixed in, I am just going to use like a small ladle to put these into the mold. You know, just for uh, um, purposes of non-drippage or as little drippage as possible. So my silicone molds, I'm just going to fill up a couple of these. Obviously, you can do whatever you want. Fill up two of these molds. Hopefully, you guys can see the idea of what I'm doing. And then for the larger ring mold, I'm making this air freshener. Um, about three quarters of an inch thick. I personally, I don't want it to be too flimsy. Um, we will be making a hole in it and then putting a string through it. So I didn't want it to be too thin, but once again, you can do it however you like. So I noticed that on a cold counter, um, these took about 10 to 15 minutes to solidify and not solidify completely but to get you know hard enough so that they could start to come out of the mold so that's just a, a random um a little bit of uh, time frame for you to have so then the other thing that i do is i'm just going to stay with these right now as we talked about the beeswax is very hot and right now it's liquid so nothing's going to stand up in it but I want it to have holes so that I can put a string through it so that I can hang these because I personally am going to hang them in the window. Once again, you can do whatever you want. Um, so I'm going to stay with it until it gets a skin and it starts to get just a little bit tacky and I can stand something up in it. So what I'm going to do in a few minutes, I won't make you wait for it, is I'm just going to stick a couple of toothpicks, what I have here, in the place where I'm going to have the hole and it'll just be like a placeholder for me. So once again, as soon as it just gets a little bit hard, I'll stick them in. That way they'll stand up on their own. And then once it's totally hard, I can pull them out, kind of refine the hole a little bit. Um, and once again, whatever you have on hand, that's a good uh, diameter for the size of a hole that you'd like to have. So I have one here that I made previously. So this one was made with that same ring mold. So you can see the lavender flowers on it, and this is the size of the hole that I made. I just used a probe thermometer for that hole, something like this size, and you know, put it in, really kind of got the hole nice to how I wanted it. And then I'm using a hemp string. I just kind of wanted to go for that natural look uh, for these, but once again, whatever you like. And then I'm just gonna give these a tie and I'm gonna hang these in the windows in the bedroom. I really like the smell of lavender and that leaf for sleep, for relaxation. And then I'll show you the couple that came out of the silicone mold. So these are uh, sphere molds. So it comes out like a half moon, a half sphere. So I did go ahead and make just a little hole in these as well. And once again, it could be just a you a little circle that you put somewhere. It could be put in a drawer for, you know, socks and things being kept fresh or something like that. Or you could decide to take a little melted beeswax, glue the two together, and then you'd have a cute little ball that you could hang somewhere. Once again, you could do some other cute things. If these were for around the holiday time and you wanted to, you know, had a little extra pizzazz, if they were going to be hanging somewhere they could be noticed. Um, you could do some gold or silver balls. Um, these are actually for candy decorating, but obviously you would use something not edible since this is going to be sitting around for a while. But just an idea to sparkle it up a little bit. Um, so that's pretty much it. 
So really, really, really simple little craft to do at home. And hopefully you enjoy. Thanks.